Therefore, in this material world, if we, I may love somebody, but it is full with anxieties. My lover may not cheat, she may not go away, or he may not go away. Because we are not in the spiritual platform, asadgraha, we are simply trying to love the external feature, which is asad, which will not exist. Just like if you try to love a doll made of earth, dirt, very nicely painted as they are exhibited in the window of the tailor shop. Who is going to love that? Nobody is going to. Everyone knows that this is imitation. Similarly, this body is imitation. It is a layer of the spiritual body. Uh, the spiritual body, when gives us this body, it has no value. Uh, a dead body of a beautiful man or beautiful woman, nobody likes. But because the spiritual essence is gone, uh, therefore love is actually on the spiritual platform. Material love is simply superficial and it will cheat you. Uh, we must know this. <coughs> Asadgraha, sada samadvigna diyam asadgraha. So on the soft existence, this material existence develop, and the process of development is described here, and the development of the body is described here. Drabhas <coughs> purana vigyana. Drabhaspura. Drabha means physical. Uh, development of physical body. Uh, vijnana. This is the vijnana. How things are developing one after another, one after another. Prakitekkinamana. This is all by the material nature. Prakitekkinamana. Gunai karmani sarvas. Ahankara vimurātmā. Kattāham iti mannate. So drabhaspura na vijnana. Indriyāna manudraha. So our senses follow, and we enjoy these false senses, and that is material existence. So the endeavor should be how to become free from this material existence and come to our spiritual platform. <coughs> that should be the endeavor of human life. Uh, the cats and dogs, they have no such advanced consciousness. They cannot try for it. They are satisfied with this material body and material senses. But in the human form body, there is chance to understand that these uh, senses, this physical formation of the body is false uh, or temporary are false in this sense that it is not my original body. Uh, original body is within this uh, material bodies, that is spiritual body. Asmin dehe, dehina, dehina asmin, tatha dehantaram prat, asmin dehe, dehina, that the spiritual body is actually the body, and this material body is covering. It is explained in different way in the Bhagavad Gita. Bhasham si jinnani jatham vihar. This material body is just like dress. The dress, I am putting on this shirt, you are putting on this shirt and coat. That is not very important thing. The important thing is the body within the shirt. Similarly, this material body is simply outward covering of the spiritual body uh, by physical uh, atmosphere, but real body is within. Dehinas uh, dehi. This external physical body is called deha, and the owner of the deha is called dehi, one who possesses this deha. That we have done. This is the first instruction in the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, then one should be inquisitive to know 
how this physical body has come into existence covering uh, myself, the spiritual body, ahangar mahasmi. So to understand this science, Kapil Desh is explaining the physical shankha philosophy, how things are developing. Uh, to understand that the same thing, to understand the simple thing that I am not this body. Uh, the body has developed from the soul. Uh, therefore we uh, challenge the material scientists. They say that the <coughs> soul has developed uh, from the body. Uh, no. Soul has not developed from the body, but the body has developed from the soul. Just the opposite. Uh, uh, the material scientists, they think that combination of these physical elements creates a situation where is, where, when there is living life symptom. No, that is not. The real is that fact is that the spirit soul is there, they are uh, wandering all over the universe. Uh, Brahmanda Brahman. Brahmanda means all over the universe. The spirit soul is sometimes uh, in one species of life, sometimes in another species of life, sometimes he is in this planet, sometimes in another planet. In this way, according to his karma, he is wandering. That is his material life. Uh, so, eirupe brahmāṇa bhramite. He is loitering, wandering, without any aim. What is the aim of life? Why I have put into this condition, accepting this material body, the source of all miseries? These questions should be asked. This is called brahmā And that should be answered properly. Then our life will be successful. Otherwise, it is as useless as the body of a cat or a dog. No understanding. Murha. Murha. So the cats and dogs' life, or the cats and dogs in two legs, any human being who has no spiritual knowledge. He is no better than the cats and dogs. But difference is that cats and dogs have got four legs and this animal has got two legs. Deepod posh. They have been described as deepod posh. De means two and pod means legs. So anyone who has no knowledge of the spiritual existence how this material body has developed, how we are put into different conditions life. Without this knowledge, he is two-legged animal, that's all. So don't remain as two-legged animal. Ah. You may develop from two-legged animal another body, four-legged animal, but that is not our uh, business. Our business is athāta brahma jīgyāsā. Uh, that is our life. Uh, now this human form of life should be intuitive. Jignasu Sreya Uttamam. That is life. Uh, you must be very much inquisitive to understand uh, what is your ultimate goal of life. Sreya Uttamam. Tasmad Gurum Prabhadeta Jignasu Sreya Uttamam. Uh, Therefore, some Bhagavad says that in order to understand the supreme goal of life, Sreya Uttama. Sreya means uh, the best. Uh, Sreya and Preya. Preya means immediately palatable. Uh, and Sreya means ultimately beneficial. That is called Sreya. Thank you very much.